Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 3.2, we see how to estimate durations. So first, we see what is duration, how to calculate durations and how to enter the duration. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 3.1 with the complete task list available on group.net. Accurate estimation of duration is very critical to realistic and successful project planning. Past experience, precedence in other projects, and realistic consideration of resources available, dependencies and other conditions can help in predicting practical durations. In MS Project, durations are given for each task. Microsoft Project uses the formula duration is equal to work divided by assignment units. That is, duration for a particular task in hours is equal to the total work for that task in hours divided by the assignment units. Assignment units means the amount or percentage of the day in which a resource will work on this task. That is, for a resource who works 8 hours a day, if he works the full 8 hours on just one task, then the assignment unit is 100%. If he works for half a day on a particular task, that is for 4 hours, it is 50%. Let us say a task requires 8 hours of total work. If a resource works on it for 8 hours, that is 100 units, then the duration for the task is calculated as 8 hours of one day. If the same resource works on it only for 4 hours in a day, that is at 50% units, then the duration for this task is 16 hours or 2 days. This is the way MS Project software calculates work, duration and units. When we see the project plan in the Gantt view, we see that after task name there is a column for duration. The duration here is defined as the total span of working time for a task. Tasks can be manually scheduled or automatically scheduled. For manually scheduled tasks we can directly type in the duration if we know it. For example for the first one let us say 20 days. We can press enter, move to the next one and probably take this as one day. We can enter duration like this. The other way is that you double click the task. It opens the task information page and there is an option for entering duration over here. You can type in the duration value here also. So it is shown here. There is one more type of entry for durations that is let us say you double click the task information. Instead of manually scheduling that is you calculating all the details you can put it on auto schedule in which MS project calculates the duration, the units uh, and the work in terms that you can fix any one of these. If you go to the advanced tab we see here that at task type it gives you an option of fixing any one of the following duration, units or work. To have control on how this affects the project, MS Projects gives this option of fixing any of the parameters in the formula. That is you can have fixed units, fixed work or fixed duration. So if one parameter is fixed and you change the second parameter, the third parameter automatically gets calculated. 
So let us say we take fixed units and we can enter the duration here and say OK. Similarly for the next one you can make it auto scheduled go to the advanced tab maybe leave it as fixed units and given the duration so to summarize we have seen what is duration how to calculate duration and how to enter duration a sample of the project plan with completed duration list is available on group.net Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we will see how to enter a milestone.